Well, I just want to show you one thing. Something that's really cool. It's actually called, called Code Academy. And it's coding. And I think it's really fun. You know, if you don't really want to code, then you don't have to. Go to Code Academy. And go to Academy and want to code. Press that one. And should start with a different screen. Actually, it'll start with this screen, but instead of it saying Python, it'll say Learn HTML and CSS Part One, and it it'll it won't say that you've done some of it because you wouldn't have. And I've done fourteen percent of it, but the one that I'm looking at is Python. I think it's funnest one. It's the one that helps you like create small games. And they each have a time limit. Um, they're all at least more than one at once. And this Python is actually the one that the estimate is the longest time. Yeah, by quite a, by quite a bit. So Python is this is this one. Looks like JavaScript is the second longest. But guess how long Python is? Okay, Py since you know it's more than ten hours, Python is thirteen hours estimate time. And it's a long time. By fourteen percent done. This is date and I. And I'm going to do this one thing. This is a tiny thing. This isn't the whole thing. That It would take me like two minutes. But it's actually like a lot of these. Probably over a thousand or something. No exaggeration. A lot of that. Um, some of it. I bet a lot of this you won't understand because you haven't done before, but obviously a lot of times you want to keep track of when something happens. You can do so in Python using date time. Here we'll use date time to print the date and time in a nice format. Click save and submit code to continue. Well, I haven't done this thing, so... Um, this is just telling me to do this. So, I'll, I'll do the next when it should actually tell me Don't to do use the bathroom. Okay. That's mom talking to someone else. We can use a function called datetime.now this and to receive the current date and time. From date time and port date time, print date time dot now. The first line imports the date time library so that we can use it. The second line will print out the current date and time. Instructions. Create a variable a variable called now and store the result of date time in it. Then print the value of now. Pretty sure you do this. I'm not sure if this is actually good. This video. It showed me how to do this stuff. But. And so you put this together. And then it said then print, which means put it on the, the screen. And and then put now. Whenever I put now, it'll put the date date time. Oh, so I did it. 
It says it on the screen. 2016, 12, 23, 250, 250, 97, um, that's not too correct, um, it's not the 23rd, it's not 250, but whatever. Well, I'm going to end the video here. So, wait, wait my, I must have not done it quick. Oops, try again to do one of my now dot year. Oh, oh, this is the next, this is the next thing. I didn't, I did do the last one correctly. This one I actually just pressed save.